Are you ready for unit 1.2? <laughs> Hello and welcome to Fuel to My Lo-Fi, a safe space on the internet where we explore curious and strange spaces such as the back rooms, liminal spaces, the pool rooms, and more. I'm your host, I, I and I welcome you to what fuels my lo-fi. We are going to be looking at the employee training video by Omega Mart unit 1.2. So. I'm quite excited about it. I actually like really enjoyed the first training video, so let's get stuck in. With so many incredible products to choose from, shopping at Omega Mart can be an overwhelming experience. Occasionally, you may see a customer that needs a little exceptional assistance. Okay, so I really like um, customer service. Uh, I used to do like telemarketing and then I realized that was not actually very fun so I went into call service centers and um, that I really enjoyed and even when I was working at F&B places I really enjoyed like the physical interaction of like taking people's orders making their orders and I think the best part of my day is when people be like oh my god I just love this and they come back and then they order again and they see your face and I've had so many uh interactions which like live in my heart when people be like oh you made like the perfect burger or the perfect sub or the perfect whatever and like I'm just back just give me the usual and I'm like I got you so I love it I think like Customer service, when done right, with great customers, makes like the whole experience like perfection. Uh, so yes, let's see how we can help these exceptional customers. Um, can I help you find something? Hmm. Yeah. It was. It was green. Okay. I'm guessing it's the lettuce. We can see the lettuce. And it has to do with round. Is definitely the lettuce. I can help her, definitely. There are layers. So many layers. Oh, oh no, no, no. Her face is glitching out a little bit. Um, but I mean, I'm guessing it's lettuce. I would totally just get her that lettuce. Do you know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> Uh-oh, looks like we have an exceptional customer. Signs okay. and symptoms of exceptional customers include fidgeting, sweaty brow, dilated pupils, and mild to severe disorientation. Oh no, that sounds awful. Um, I guess like this can happen even in a regular uh, supermarket. Like sometimes when I go shopping, I try to go like really early in the morning or really late at night because I often feel like the sounds, like I'm just... I, I deal I get sensory overload very fast and like when there's too much noise or there's too much sound around me it tends to like kind of freak me out which is why I also ended up stopping working at all these uh, jobs because I, from just the sound alone disturbing my brain cells I, I couldn't I couldn't last in any particular position that was like out and about in like a mall or whatever so um yeah I, I feel the same way about like going and shopping during like a very busy time like say around lunchtime or just before dinner time these times like everybody's in the supermarket and it can be very disorienting when you go to like a really huge place like a hypermart where like there's just like rows and rows and rows of just shelves and shelves of choices i've basically ended up standing there and just had a, like a little mental breakdown because i just forgot where i was forgot where i wanted to be and forgot what i wanted and man it would have been nice to have like assistance on the ground that would be like oh do you need something um a lot of supermarkets here they're like very hands-off there's nobody around so if you're lost you're just lost and you can just stand there and stare at like boxes of cereal for a couple of hours <laughs> obviously like other customers would be like what's wrong with you and that's when they will somebody will gonna help you but like yeah um i like the fact that they actually have employee training where they specifically assist the customers that's really cool that's interesting Every customer is special. But not all are equal. Some are exceptional. exceptional. The customer's always right. But sometimes you'll find exceptional, exceptional ones who seem out of their minds. Exceptional customers find what they're right for. But they 
don't know quite where they are, but they're in the right store. They know they want something, but what? They're not quite sure. Give them advice. Get, Get them, them to, to buy, buy more. more. Exceptional customers, customers may feel confused. Offer, Offer them constant attention and juice. Aww, I like the fact that she now has a blanket. It's so cozy. Frosted hay. And then oh, earlier I saw like Omega macaroni. I would love to try some of these. I love macaroni. Macaroni is delicious um though i'm starting to feel like they're i'm not sure whether they our job or their job is to like uh help customers or but i guess it is like you're trying to get them to help do what they came for which is to buy stuff right so but for some reason i feel like there's something off like i'm missing something i don't know let me just keep watching their questions with hotness and zest they don't know which product they want tell them yes they may okay. have concerns i can't find my cheese or metaphysical questions who am i am i me when they're lost help them look for who they want to be but not in the mirror they won't like what they see i like omega o omega roni yeah that's what i'm saying the omega roni looks really really good yeah though i i I mean, okay, so the idea of like looking at yourself and looking at your own reflection and yeah, I guess like a supermarket isn't really a place to deal with these existential ideas. Like it's probably better for you to do that like with a therapist or something. So maybe that's what they mean. Like um, give them a product instead of like a, f but I mean, I'm sure you can buy mirrors at Omega Mart. So that would be a complex situation if they want to buy a mirror, but you're not supposed to give them a mirror and is this specifically a mirror or should you block off all the reflective surfaces i'm not sure interesting D. trying to find some butter lettuce don't be bothered by it let us help you find it as you slice the head of lettuce that your head is in the salad have some breadsticks have some samples have some extras. let us help you with your vegetables we're specialists you're helpless uh -oh. uh -huh. <laughs> we're specialists you're helpless oh that's a bit sad ah uh, i mean Though I wonder what's really causing, well, I've never experienced being in Omega Mart. So I wonder if they have things that cause oversensory, uh, oversensory stimulation. Maybe that's why you have, they have customers like this. And so like, this is how they help them. Maybe. Ask the distinction again between where her cart ends and her own arm begins. She's alarmed to find then that her cart arm extends down the whole aisle 10. Smile, be a friend. Here's a lost shopper. Oh, oh no, oh, oh no, oh no. I'm a bit scared now because her eyes. Let's just take a look at her eyes. No, oh, oh no. It's just the shadow. It's just the shadow. Okay. For a second, I thought her eyes just went completely black and I was just like, damn. Okay. Oh yeah, for a second, it does go really dark because of like the lighting and stuff. Okay. I was thinking, is she human? Maybe she's not human. Maybe that's the problem. But no, 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 no. She just really means that you're supposed to smile and be a friend. Okay. Now let's just go back to the extended arm situation though. Like what in the world? How does that happen? Is it like when you stay at Omega Mart too long, you tend to become stretchy? or you lose focus or is there perhaps some kind of chemical in the air that sort of messes with your mind and makes you see things and feel things that are not actually there like you start to hallucinate a bit the longer you stay at a mega mart wow so many questions but it's interesting like it's the arms that are extending and everything else is the same and there's nothing else that is changing whatsoever it kind of makes me think like, is it an actual spiritual mental thing or is this physically happening to the customers? And then it makes me also wonder, maybe exceptional customers are not even human. That's why you have to learn and be trained how to deal with exceptional customers because maybe these particular customers, the reason why they're exceptional is not because they are having an exceptional experience, but because they are beings from an alternative dimension and this is how they tend, how they tend to shop. <laughs> so many questions that's so cool like i mean i feel like if you work at omega mart as an omega mart employee training video you can like add like extraterrestrial encounters and like um experience with all sorts of nations languages creeds and species to your resume <laughs> you could probably like apply to mib after this <laughs> extends down the whole aisle 10 smile be a friend here's a law 
house shopper who's probably not sure of whether the soft serve he's eating is God or a demonic imposter. He's screaming. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, wait, but what is this? Screaming, <laughs> but not words. Don't let him feel bothered. Offer him water. A trip to the grocery can be so engrossing. Inspecting the produce, contemplating the growth of things, the aura of an orange emanating in glowing rings, and gorge with its juices and glistening gorgeously. When loitering coarselessly, escort the. I mean, that can't exactly be bad. It's not like um, an alien thing because it is true. Like some fruits do grow in a strange way. And sometimes you have fruits that kind of have like two and it's like kind of like coming apart or growing from the side or whatever. So that's not that strange. So I can accept that. Um, does she really need that much butter lettuce? Gosh, though, but like right now I need some butter lettuce. I would love to have some butter lettuce. I haven't bought vegetables in a long time. I feel like I'm like missing something in my diet. Them resourcefully, cordial but forceful. Inform them there's more to see. Cornish hens, corn and peas. Help them feel more at ease. Melting and formless being. Try it with more cheese. Huh? Attention all shoppers. Please remain calm as you think you're seeing monsters. With monstrous savings on all our great offers, you'll go with save for our awesome new products. Okay. Okay, so here is um a clue or maybe not really i could just be reading into things really strangely but perhaps because it's attention all shoppers so i'm guessing like not all shoppers is an exceptional customer or exceptional shopper so perhaps they're like explaining to everybody like oh if you see a person like this then it's not a monster that you're not seeing monsters you know but maybe this person is actually a monster and what we're seeing is some kind of like uh what is it like a a a a, a disguise like um, you know like superman uh no supergirl this brainy and he has like this um i don't know what it's called like a uh, uh, visual manipulator or something so that he looks more human but actually he's not so maybe like maybe that is what's going on here like er I don't know it's just like so many things <laughs> it's cool can't stop laughing some can't stop crying some lose track of how much they're buying and if some can't decide what they want and what they don't put them both in the cart and assume they want both mm. okay so I think that has been very informative um so do let me know in the comments below what do you think do you think exceptional customers are customers who are going through uh sensory overload in the store and needs exceptional treatment or do you think exceptional customers are actually extraterrestrial beings who are having an exceptional experience in omega mar and therefore they need ex uh specific attention given to them because they don't behave or react like normal humans and therefore their experience of Omega Mart will be totally different and then they should be treated differently and perhaps also with respect you know because they're here to buy stuff it's their experience it's their time they want to be all in the moment and they're like oh I'm being a human for the first time what is going on this is so fun and so like you know we as the customer service have to be on point and you know take care of them and stuff like that those are my two theories they might not be uh fl flushed out actually they're totally not flushed out and they totally not accurate but do let me know what you think in the comments below oh this is so fun this is so fun okay so anyway i'm gonna end the video here tune in um next whatever uh i i upload another video um for unit two i think it's unit two let me see um uh me a second um i don't know anyway i think there's like seven parts so tune in to the next part when i finally upload it <laughs> as always may your days be magical and i'll see you in the next time Mwah. bye bye